welcome to another After Effects tutorial. It will be fast, simple, very effective, useful, cool, catchy, and nice. Then this is illustration ready for animation. One more thing before I start. I create a membership on my Patreon page, so you will be able to download all illustration that I created, plus some bonus tutorial for animation. Now, let's start. I separate this illustration into five separate layers. This is my landscape layer, after which I made clouds layer. They will be animated, so I'm separate clouds from the landscape. After that, I will animate hands holding phone and thumb. The last layer is phone screen. This is the place where the whole action will go. And now it's time for After Effects. First, I need to import the illustration. Click right mouse button on project tab, select import, then file. Select the illustration file, click open, choose composition and layer size, and click OK. Double click on photo composition and we are set to go. For now, hands holding phone will be invisible and my focus is on the landscape. First, I will animate the clouds. I will move them a little bit to the right and create keyframe on the first frame. Just click on this stopwatch icon in the position settings. On the end of the animation, I will move the clouds a little bit to the left and create a new keyframe for that position. Now, the landscape animation looks like this. It is very simple, but it will be serve a purpose. After that, I want to merge the landscape and clouds to the one layer. In this case, it will be one composition. So, I will use pre composition for that. Okay, now it's time for hands, so I will turn it on. Before hands animated, I will make a copy of landscape. You will see why a little bit later. Use Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V command for it. Okay, this is my phone screen and I want to see my landscape background on it. So, in this drop down menu, select Alpha Matte screen. Now I have what I want. The landscape is visible only on the phone. If I move the screen, I still have that effect. But it can be better if I connect the screen with the phone and the hands. So, I will use this spiral icon for that. Just hold and drag from the screen to the hands. I will use the same for the thumb. Now, it's good. I will show you another cool effect. I will make visible my copied background and apply a blur effect on it. Right click on it, go to the effect, blur and sharpen and select Gosha Blur. In effect control you can change the blur value, it will be 50. I will increase it a little bit and my edge will be better. Use control on your keyboard and click plus a few times. And I have this cool dip of the field effect. Here, I will make the first keyframe. Press P on your keyboard for position settings and create the first keyframe. Here is my second keyframe. One more here. And I created my last position and keyframe. Okay, this is my first step on the hands animation. Now, I will animate the thumb and take the photo with it. I will select the thumb and move the central point a little bit to the right. This is my rotating point, select the thumb layer, open rotate setting by pressing R on your keyboard and make the first keyframe. I will rotate the thumb angle a little bit for the second keyframe. Use the same position for the next keyframe. And finally, copy the first keyframe because I need the same rotating position for the last keyframe. Now, my animation looks like this. It's cool, but it's missing something. I want to create something like Capture Effect. I will copy my screen layer, turn it on, go to the opacity setting using T keyboard command. The opacity on the first keyframe will be 0, on the second will be 100, and on the last will be 0 again. 
when I put the sound in my animation, it will be like this. Yeah! Like I said in the beginning, it's very simple and easy. Don't forget to visit my Patreon page and subscribe, because the best is yet to come. Peace!